So the real estate market is truly busted. And if you want a perfect example of that, take a look at that house behind me. This is a home here in the Las Vegas real estate market, which was built in 2002 and sold at that time for $450,000. Fast forward 20 years later and in 2022, this home was sold for $750,000. And now the seller is looking to sell the home less than two years after owning it for $1 million. So take a look at this example right here. It took 20 years for this home to go from 450 to 750. That's a $300,000 price increase. And now in less than two years, they think the home is gonna go up another quarter of a million dollars from 750 to 1 million. This is a perfect example of a housing market bubble that is getting ready to pop. Wait till you see the rest of the information coming up in this video. What's going on my YouTube friends? This is Jerry Abbott, your number one real estate resource here in beautiful Las Vegas. Hey guys, a couple of real quick things before we dive into the video. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn the cold hard facts about the US economy, the US real estate market, and specifically the Las Vegas real estate market, then make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Number two, if you happen to like the content in today's video, make sure to press that thumbs up like button guys, that would really help the channel out. And number three, if you are thinking about relocating to beautiful Las Vegas, whether it's next month or next year, I've got your back. I'm a local real estate agent here. I've lived here for nearly 20 years. I know every inch of this city. When that time is right for you, definitely reach out to me. Just call, text, or email me anytime, and I'll help you find that perfect dream home. Let's dive into the video. So I want to show you the kind of trouble that's brewing for the overall real estate market, and then I'm going to drill down more specifically to the Las Vegas real estate market. But I first want you guys to take a look at this tweet that just came out from a popular real estate critic. Take a look at this. So let me read this tweet, a friendly reminder that we are in the biggest housing bubble of all time. Inflation adjusted home prices today are almost 100% higher than the long term 130 year average. Only two times in US history where this has ever happened, 2006 and right now. Now, just to illustrate this a little bit more clearly, I wanna show you in this upcoming graph that that same person put together the kind of dangerous territory that we're now in regarding the overall real estate market. All right, so let's take a look at this graph because this graph illustrates from that previous tweet exactly how this looks in terms of how out of control the real estate market is right now. So let's take a look on the left side. On the left side, it's gonna say right here, home price index. So it goes from 50 all the way up to 300. Then you have the dates down here. This goes back 130 years from about 1890 all the way to the current date. And then the yellow horizontal line right across the middle says 130 year average. So if we're right in that middle line right there, this has kind of been a normalized market for the 130 year history. But what you can see most notably here is the far right side of this graph. So when we had this huge spike here in this light red color right here, this was the 2006 bubble in the real estate market. And then what happened right afterwards? It crashed all the way back down. Now, when we take a look in the far right, right next to my picture here, this says right here, biggest housing bubble of all time in 2024. Now you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out how out of sync the entire real estate market is. Because again, when we go back to the far left side of this chart, this goes all the way back 130 years ago. And even though it's dropped down a little bit below this yellow horizontal line, it's always kind of stayed around that kind of territory. And the only time that it happened previous to the current time was this 2006, 2008 bubble right here. And then it just completely crashed down over a couple of years. And now when we see it right here, this is the highest level we've ever been at. So again, all indicators are showing that a housing bubble is forming now at the highest level ever. And that has always typically been met with a housing correction or severe crash after we get to these kind of levels. Now, nobody knows when that bubble may burst, but the higher it goes, the stronger the correction or the crash could be, especially here in a place like the Las Vegas real estate market, because as you can see right next to me, home prices have just hit a record high here in Las Vegas. But again, one of the biggest drivers as to why the Las Vegas real estate market is so hot is because again, as you can see next to me, there's a tremendous amount of investors buying homes here. But here's the thing unemployment levels are going up drastically. That means less people are working. And if less people are working, that means less people can pay those investors rent on those homes. It won't take much for the Las Vegas real estate market to crumble like it has before. And as you're about to see, there's a lot of price reductions already happening. All right, so now let's drill down a little bit more specifically into the Las Vegas real estate market where I happen to be located. Now there are currently a little bit less than 5,000 total Las Vegas homes for sale right now currently on the market. But I wanna show you a couple of different examples of new construction homes and resale homes that have either gone through massive price reductions or they're massively overpriced. Now I'm on the popular real estate platform here and you can see right here in the top left, 
I typed in price reduced homes for sale in Las Vegas, Nevada. And just underneath it, you could see that number. It says 1,676 homes. So you can see there's a huge percentage of homes that are currently for sale right now in Las Vegas that have already been massively reduced in price or either a minor adjustment in price. So let's take a look at a few of those examples right now. All right, so I minimized my picture a little bit just so you can see the full screen of this website here because I wanna just scroll through a few of these examples here. So let's just take a look over on the left side of the screen here. This home is a brand new construction home, $348,000. They've reduced the price you can see just about $10,000. The home right in the middle, $735,000, $11,000 reduction. The home right here on the right, $613,000 price point, reduced over $48,000. We scroll up a little bit more here, take a look right here in the middle, 577, reduced $97,000. The home on the right, 327, reduced $34,000. Now let's go over here on the left side, 598 over here on the left, reduced $48,000. $700,000 right here in the middle, reduced $47,000. And then this home here on the right, $900,000, reduced $23,000. Now I can continue to scroll through this page here just to show you all of these price reductions by these builders. I mean, take a look here on the left side. This home again, 539, reduced 46,000. This one right in the middle, 625, reduced 50,000. But take a look down here. Look at these numbers here. These pages go 40 deep. That means I can go through 40 pages of reduced home prices here in Las Vegas. And again, even though some of them are minor compared to some others that have more of a major price reduction, this is the changing of the guard in my opinion because a lot of these home builders, especially the new construction home builders, they are massively overpricing these homes and now they're starting to come down in price. All right, so now I'm on the other very popular real estate platform, Zillow, that most of you guys are familiar with because I wanna show you a few more examples of Las Vegas homes for sale, starting in the luxury category and then working down closer to the average price point. Again, just to show you one of two things, either massive price reductions or massive overpricing. So we're gonna start in the luxury space. I know again, 99% of people you can see here on screen will never be able to afford a $7 million home, but I wanna show you this example first because you can't believe where this home price was just about a year ago compared to the current list price. This is a four bedroom, five bath, 6,000 square foot home, but wait till you see the details down below. This is really gonna blow you away. All right, so take a look at the bottom of the screen in this blue highlight. Down on the bottom left side of the highlight there, the date says 522, 2023 so this is just a little over a year ago this home sold for 3.8 million dollars fast forward one year later right up here just above it you can see the date that says 519 2024 and they listed this home for sale for six million nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's an 83 percent price change difference in one year in the history of real estate regardless of the price point no home ever appreciates in true value that much in one year. Sometimes that doesn't even happen in 10 or 15 years, let alone one year. So again, there are a tremendous amount of sellers, especially luxury sellers, that are completely delusional in their pricing. They're trying to find naive buyers that have a lot of money, obviously, that are just willing to pay any price that they set to it. Again, if you're a luxury buyer or even an average price point buyer, as you're about to see, do not bid on these original list price homes at those price points. Throw in a much lower offer. You have nothing to lose because again, most of these homes are not true value. All right, so now let's take a look at this second example of another Las Vegas home for sale. We're definitely coming down in price, but again, we're still right at that entry level luxury barrier, which starts right at around the million dollar price point here in the Las Vegas real estate market. You can see on the left side of the screen, this home is currently listed at $1,265,000. It's a seven bedroom, five bath, 4,500 square foot home. But again, more importantly, I wanna show you the price history down below and then show you some of the surrounding homes around it to show you how overpriced this home is right now. All right, so let's look at the price history of this particular home. Take a look again in the blue highlight down at the bottom of the page. On the bottom left here, the date says 2-9-2023. So that's about 18 months ago. They listed this home for sale for $995,000. They weren't able to find a buyer, so they tried renting it. You can see just above it, listed for red, $4,600, they weren't able to rent it, so they removed the listing. We go up a little bit higher here, you could see on the left side of the screen, 6-6-2024. So that's a little bit over a year after the home was listed for sale for $9.95, they relisted it for $1,275,000. Then they reduced it a little bit right here to $1,269,000, 
and then they reduced it very slightly again to $1,265,000. So let's just stop and think about this for a second. About 18 months ago, the home was listed for just under a million dollars, $995,000 to be exact. They weren't able to find a buyer. And then a little over a year later, instead of relisting it again for around that million dollar price point, they decided to raise the price up to $1,265,000. And as you're about to see, I'm gonna show you the aerial footage of this particular part of the community where this home is located, just to show you the surrounding home prices and how much higher this home is compared to the neighboring price points of the other homes. All right, so take a look at the left side of the screen. This is the aerial footage shot of this particular community. Now you can see that I highlighted the home in this red box at about $1.27 million, which is the current list price. But let's take a look at the homes just above it. You can see right at the top there, $915,000, 905, 976, 797. Then we have the highlighted home right there at 1.27 million. Then underneath it, 1 million approximately. Again, 1 million, 874, and then the bottom two are approximately $1 million. So this aerial footage perfectly illustrates when we look at the neighboring homes that are about $250,000 to $400,000 lower in value, you never want to buy the most expensive home in a neighborhood. And this home that's highlighted at about $1.27 million is a very much overpriced. That's why it's been sitting on the market for almost three months. Because again, the sellers are far too aggressive on the list price. And it's not true value when you look at the surrounding homes that are far lower in value. All right, so let's take a look at one more example of another Las Vegas home for sale. Now we're definitely coming down closer to the median home price, which here in the Las Vegas real estate market is $485,000. You can see on the left side of the screen, this home is currently listed at $575,000, but just above it in that small red text, it says price cut $24,000, which happened just a couple of weeks ago, but that's not the full price cut, which I'm gonna show you in the details down below. This is a five bedroom, three bath, just under 3,000 square foot home. But again, down below, I wanna show you where this home price started compared to where it is currently right now. Okay, so one more time, focus your attention down at the bottom of the screen in the blue highlight. On the bottom left side of that highlight, the date there says 7-23-2024. So this is about maybe six weeks ago where this home was listed for sale for $625,000. Just above it on 8-10-2024, you could see the price cut drop down to $600,000. And then just above it on 8-22-24, right at the top there, it's currently listed now at $575,000. So this is a $50,000 price point reduction in the course of about six weeks from this home seller, which may not seem like a big reduction, but that's pretty aggressive to happen in less than two months. And again, I am seeing a lot of examples like this pop up all over the Las Vegas real estate market. It's happening in the luxury space. It's happening in this price point space, because again, sellers are too aggressive on the list prices. And a lot of buyers are finally wising up and not just bidding on that original list price. So again, if you're patient, in my opinion, especially as we go through the rest of this year, when the real estate market typically slows down and we have a presidential election coming up, I think there's going to be a lot of economic uncertainty. And when we get into 2025, not just in the Las Vegas real estate market, but throughout the country, I anticipate more price reductions happening. So it's very obvious to me that when I go on popular real estate platforms like Zillow, especially here in the Las Vegas real estate market, when I see these kinds of Las Vegas homes for sale that are massively overpriced or going through massive price reductions, and I'm sure this is happening across the country in many other real estate markets, this tells me that the real estate market is finally starting to shift. Now, I know it feels like a slow grind down, but in my opinion, with the Fed about to lower interest rates next month, and the presidential election coming up, I think there's going to be economic turmoil as we head through the rest of this year. So if you can be patient, in my opinion, when we get into 2025, I anticipate home prices going down in 2025, not going up like a lot of people are anticipating. So before we end today's video, I just want to give a shout out to my favorite comment from last week's video, and that goes to Droff. Now I'm going to put their comments up here on full screen, which is actually a very interesting comment. And then I'm going to come back on the other side and comment on it. So Droff wrote, inflation is an aggregate value. It's like me saying I gained 50 pounds during the last three years but lost two pounds last month. I am still 48 pounds heavier. Now that's a great comment on many levels, but let's just talk about it from an inflationary standpoint. The government and mainstream media like to talk about how inflation has been stabilizing, but what they're not talking about is the aggregate or the compounding effect to inflation over the last four years since the start of the pandemic in 2020. Inflation has massively gone up, like a person gaining weight massively over the last few years, but then if they lose two pounds after they've already gained 50 pounds, they're still up 48 pounds. 
That's the same thing with inflation. Inflation is massively up. And even if it stagnates right now, we have still gained a tremendous amount of weight to all of the prices throughout the entire economy. And that's the big problem that a lot of people are not talking about. And that's why affordability has gone out the window for millions of people, especially on high ticket items like cars and homes. So staying on the subject of inflation, I want you guys to drop me a comment down below. I read and respond to all of my comments. I want you guys to tell me what is the most offensive price increase you've seen since the start of the pandemic, which happened in 2020, all the way to the current time period now in 2024. And my favorite comment from this week's video, I'm gonna give a direct on-screen shout out to in next week's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I also hope you appreciate my transparency. You know that I'm always gonna keep it 100% real on this channel regarding the economy and the real estate market. So the bottom line, guys, is that everything in this economy just feels busted. People feel broke, they feel busted, prices are through the roof ever since the pandemic started, and we can't get out ahead of it. Unfortunately, it's gonna take some kind of economic turmoil or even a recession for prices to come down. And I think there's potential for that when we get into 2025 after the presidential election. We're gonna have to wait to see how that all pans out. Now, when it comes to buying a high ticket item right now, like a home, if you don't have to do it, in my opinion, I would definitely wait things out and wait until about 2025 to see what happens, especially with the election coming up. Now, again, I know everybody's circumstances are different. Some people are waiting things out. Some people are looking to buy a home right now. If you are thinking about buying a home, especially here in the Las Vegas real estate market, I've got your back. I'm a local real estate agent. I've lived here for nearly 20 years. I know every inch of this city. When that time is right for you, definitely reach out to me. Just call, text, or email me anytime, and I'll help you find that perfect dream home. I'll see you guys in the next video.